In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the St. Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. 
He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men, dressed in white garments, stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe. In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday's announcements are as follows. Our doors are now open to the public. The church will be open daily for private prayer from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. At this time, we are not yet permitted to have our masses open to the public. Uh, The latest updates can be found on our website. And we thank you for your heroic patience, uh, devout understanding and charity. Our parish relies on the generosity of our people Your Sunday donation helps us continue our services at our parish and within our city. Uh, You can give online using our website or see the link in the video description. And we thank you for your generosity and help during this time. Our masses are offered one hour later for Monday, Memorial Day, and our parish office will also be closed. And this uh, morning's Mass is offered for the people of the parish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Abbot Marmion, one of the most popular and influential Catholic authors of the 20th century, writes in his classic work, Christ and His Mysteries. Of all the feasts of our Lord, I venture to say that, in a certain sense, the ascension is the greatest because it is the supreme glorification of Jesus Christ. However, for many Christians, the great mystery of the ascension is often only vaguely understood and often undervalued. Many Christians think of it as merely a transitional event that brings our risen Lord's appearances to a close and opens the door for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Yet as Abbot Marmion points out, it signifies the supreme glorification of Jesus. Abbot Marmion explains, our Lord said to his apostles before he departed from them, if you loved me, you would indeed rejoice that I'm going to the Father. To us also, Christ repeats these words. If we love him, we shall rejoice in his glorification. We shall rejoice with him that after completing his course on earth, he ascends to the right hand of his Father, there to be exalted above all the heavens in infinite glory. For Jesus to be exalted in infinite glory means that, well, in his soul and body, in his human heart, mind, and senses, Jesus is filled to overflowing with God's own power, wisdom, life, majesty, and happiness, which the resurrection signifies, but the ascension reveals to the full. And so Jesus in his human self, as one of us, is exalted and glorified in a divine manner that is beyond our imagining. Therefore, we heartily rejoice in his glorification, For we love him. 
Yet admittedly, we still long to be with him. Well, the amazing news is that Jesus ascends to the Father not only to be exalted and glorified, but also to precede us. In other words, he's, he's not separating himself from us. Rather, he's entering into his glorious kingdom to prepare a place for us there. Abbot Marmion reminds us, he promises to return one day to take us with him so that, as he says, where he is, we also may be. True, we are already there in the glory and happiness of Christ by our title as his heirs, but we shall one day be there in reality. So Jesus also ascends for our benefit. Because Jesus as a human, as one of us, enters fully into sharing the very life of God. He thereby makes it possible for us to do the same. Benedict XVI expresses this truth clearly when he stated that the meaning of Christ's ascension expresses our belief that in Christ, the humanity that we all share has entered into the inner life of God in a new and hitherto unheard of way. It means that the human person has found an everlasting place in God. Knowing that we have a sure hope of one day rising to be with Jesus in his glorious kingdom, to one day be there in reality and to share in the very life of God, our intended home, may we rejoice all the more. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Lord Jesus ascended the, the cross so that he might free us from our sins. And he ascended into heaven so that we might have the sure hope of abiding with him forever. With confidence in the Father's love and mercy, we pray. For the mystical body of Christ, the church, that she will live with an ardent hope for heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that the authority of heaven will guide the actions of those who govern on earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all believers, especially members of our parish, will witness to the presence of Christ in our midst through generous acts of kindness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, suffering, or oppressed by any need, especially those who are separated from their loved ones at this time, that the mystery of the ascension will bring them comfort and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and to consecrated life, especially to the canons regular of St. John Cantius. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that through the grace of the ascension, we will be blessed to keep our minds and hearts fixed on the things of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in our hearts, and for the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, because of the ascension of your Son, our human nature is now at home with you in heaven. May this truth be our lasting encouragement and hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens, as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, placed at the right hand of your glory our weak human nature, which he had united to himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation 
and count it among the flock of those you have chosen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. 
coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For <coughs> thy kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. See you.